Hey guys, Mikey here. Today I'm going to do a review and how to show you guys how to set up the Bitmain Z9 mini unit. Now, this unit here is, uh, first thing I'm going to point out is it does actually only use four of the power supplies from the uh, Bitmain power supplies. So if you're using Bitmain power supplies, guys, you can actually use two of these um, Z9 mini units uh, per power supply. Okay, so you don't need one power supply per unit can split two units between one power supply. So we're gonna run through from the very beginning how to set it up. So this video is gonna cater, you know, absolute complete, uh, complete novice, complete noob. And you're gonna learn how to find it on your network straight away because once you plug it in and turn it on, um, it's gonna basically uh, just be assigned your next IP address on your network, okay? So I'll show you guys how to find that as well. So as soon as you plug it in guys, power it on. It'll take, you know, one or two minutes to power up. Okay, so from your computer, I'm going to do this from Windows 10. Most other operating systems are fairly familiar. Uh, if you right-click on this network uh, down here, if you go into Open Network and Internet Settings, okay, if you click on View Your Network Properties, now what this is going to show you is it's going to show you your DHCP server, which will generally be the same as your gateway, okay? But that's your internet modem address, okay? So up in here, you can see 192.168.0.1. I'm logged into here at the moment. You log in there, you know, you'll need your username and password to log in there. Once you're logged in, you, you'll probably most likely have a, a setting like mine. I've got attached devices, okay? So I can click on attached devices. <clears throat> and it's going to show me a list of all the devices attached to my network. Okay, and it'll always just give the, the ant miner the next number. So as you can see here, I've got Z92. This is my second Z9 mini attached. Now it'll just have a, a number. So to log into that, you just open another browser. Okay, as you can see here, 192.168.0.23. Okay, so if we just log back into that again. Now, I've already logged into this, so it'll come up and ask you for a username and password. The default is root and for the username and the password. So just go root, root, and it'll log you in. It'll bring you to this screen here. Okay, so you can see Ant9, uh, Z9 Mini. First thing I recommend if you've got multiple units on your network, guys, is come over to the network tab and give it a different name. Okay, it'll be just called uh, Ant Miner from default. So give it a different name. Okay, I've called mine Z92, as in Z9 number two, and just hit save and apply over here. And the machine will restart again. So give it a couple of minutes again. Now, once you're in, go into Miner Configuration. Okay, and this is where we set up our mining pools, okay? So the, the pool that I'm using at the moment is this uh, zhash.pro. I'm mining Zencash on this at the moment. And uh, these are my current stats, but we'll come to those in a minute. Uh, so to set up the pool, if you come to this website here, I'll put this in the video description below as well, as you're going through this, so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, now for me, I'm from Australia, Asia region, so I've put my Asia um, pool in first, as you can see here. Okay, as pool number one. Now, I do recommend you use the three different pools, okay, because if one of these pools goes down, it automatically cuts over and starts mining on the other pool. It's basically exactly the same pool, it's just a, a, a different um, offset of it. So, if you're from uh, Europe region, for example, what you, what you do is you come in here, okay, you say, you see this uh, multi-GPU farms and ASICs, okay, so we're using an ASIC machine. So, we want to copy-paste this, so Euro Zhash1.pro, so what you do is you put this in, uh, pool URL one for example, put a colon, okay, and then you see here port 3059, so we go 3059, and then we do that for the other two pools as well, so you can go to the USA tab for example, copy this, okay, put it in as number two, and then so on with the, with the number three. Um, now the worker is related to your wallet address, now I'm mining directly at the moment um, directly to Binance, which is the number one volume exchange. And the reason why I'm mining directly to Binance is because as my coins are hitting Binance, okay, I can go through and I can set my um, sell levels on my coins at whatever rate I want to sell them at. So I'm not selling these coins, obviously, at market rate. We're in a bit of a bearish market at the moment. I want to sell them when price goes up. So you can go in and set your, um, set your price to be, you know, whatever level of Satoshi you want it to be and set that sell order. And when that sell order uh, hits that level, it'll sell your coins for you. So, as you can see, these are all from today, the uh, 2nd of the 7th, okay, so far today. 
So I'll put uh, Binance um, link in the video description as well, guys. If you don't have a Binance account, definitely recommend mining directly to there and then setting your sell levels um, as the exchange on there. Binance at the moment is still an anonymous exchange. You don't need to uh, verify. You don't need to do anything. You can still withdraw up to two Bitcoin every 24 hours. Okay, so it's the highest volume exchange. You can remain anonymous if you want to. So it's definitely the one to be mining to uh, at the moment if you want to mine directly to an exchange. If you don't want to mine directly to an exchange, you download whatever coins wallet you're uh, you're running or you can grab, say, your Ledger, um, Ledger wallet or whatever. But your, your wallet... Um, address needs to be pasted in to the worker ID okay <clears throat> and that'll uh, that'll give you things the password just this is default one two three doesn't need a password for this mining pool that I'm mining on okay it goes purely based on your wallet now obviously no one's going to be mining to someone else's wallet so you just put your own wallet in there um, if you want to grab your wallet from Binance guys you go into funds balances you find whatever coin you want, say we want to do Zencash, you click on, there'll be a little uh, deposit button. It'll generate an address for you. You copy and paste that into each of these lines, okay? Because we want to have it in all three. So if a pool fails, it cuts over to pool two or pool three, for example. Now, if you really want to um, uh, make sure you've got backup plans and so forth, you can go ahead and find a completely different pool you know, on a different domain and everything else. So if that whole domain goes down, it'll mine to a different pool on a different domain. For the moment, this is completely fine for me. I check my mining daily and so forth. So if something happens, I'll just come in here and I'll actually manually change this for the moment. Um, so that's that's the pool, guys. So uh, now these come advertised as doing 10K souls, okay? So this is another site that I use to track, um, you know, progress and um, and what your daily rate will be for mining and so forth so this is what to mine again video description below guys the, the link will be in there now these are advertised to come as uh, 10,000 Hertz or 10,000 souls solutions um, and they're advertised at a rate of 300 watt now they're actually they actually come standard um, and this is what we'll get into the overclocking side of this um, miner at the moment they come standard on 500 frequency okay now 500 frequency for me it gave me roughly about 11,000 souls okay and it was using it was only using about 265 or 270 watt for example and this is my cost per kilowatt in uh, in US dollars so if I click calculate on that as you can see, if I just plugged it in, left it go, it's doing its thing, it's doing its mining. Um, at current market rate, if I was to sell the coins off as I was getting them, I'd be making about you know $17.50, $17.60 per day after electricity costs. Okay, now that's pretty good for a miner in this um, in this current term. These miners are new guys, so expect this to actually drop as Bitmain continues shipping later orders. There's another order due out. July, August, September, etc. So make sure um, you're checking these to make sure you're still profitable. And this is profit as of plugging it in, setting your pools up, and going. Okay. Now I'm I'm a big uh, fan of overclocking things and that sort of stuff. So what we what I ended up trialing was um, now as it came at 500 frequency, I started increasing this by about two or three steps up at a time okay I didn't want to go too crazy so I'd go one two now I'd increase it about two or three steps at a time I'd let it run for about half an hour to an hour okay what I would then check if you're gonna up this guys click on save and apply over here each time if you're gonna check something okay in the minor status window you want to make sure that you're getting zero hardware errors okay so hardware errors are basically uh, if you overclock it too much or, or if your environment's way too hot or anything like that You'll start to get these hardware errors, and then the machine won't start. It'll, it'll start functioning not correctly, and and you'll start losing a lot of hash rate and so forth. So you really want to make sure that these are on zero, okay? Um, so as you can see, mine's been set on 750, which is the absolute maximum. Okay, I've stepped up to that gradually. So if you do want to overclock your unit, guys, I do recommend coming in here into the advanced settings. You know, if you're starting out at 500, if your ship's at 500, increase it by you know three, four, five steps at a time. And save and apply the settings, check it every half an hour, make sure it's all good. Okay. 
you don't want to just go straight from you know 500 straight to the maximum that it's rated at okay because again it depends on your environment uh australia is a pretty hot climate but at the moment here it's winter okay so obviously the machine's going to run a lot cooler than it would in the middle of summer when the ambient temperature is much higher so yeah step it up in 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 a different in a different um range now the difference that this makes is me being able to go from 500 to 750 okay 750 is producing me it's showing in here at the moment about 16.35 solutions as you can see over here my average across two units that is actually hitting the pool over the last couple of days has been 34k now 34k divided by two units of 17k solutions okay which is really good i've got a power meter i've got a power meter on my unit it's pulling 400 watts directly from the wall okay so if i put in here 17000 Okay, and if I put in here 400 watts, same power cost. Now we're going to go from this amount here, okay, $17.60. We calculate again. Okay, so we're jumping up to about $27 a day at current market rate. Now, that's about an increase. You know, that's that's about a 50% increase. We're talking 17.6 plus, say, 50% is 26. That's so over 50% increase just from changing a single setting on your unit guys and playing around with it a little bit. So, you know, it does make sense to, to do this. So guys, this is why I do these videos and so forth to help you guys out. This is the amp miner setup. Come in here, change the settings in here. Okay, make sure you're mining too. I've tried a couple of different pools. This pool's I've found to be the best. It's only got a 0.5% fee, which I didn't actually put in here at this time, but that's a 0.5% uh, fee. Okay, still over $27 a day. I'm mining directly to Binance, which allows me to set my sell orders, or I can sell at market rate if you want to just make a, um, you know, mine, mine off as you sell. That's basically the Z9 Mini in a nutshell, guys. I've got two units running, okay? I'm going to do, um, do some follow-up videos on this stuff. If you did, in, if you did enjoy this video, guys, um, please follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do have a bunch of other mining videos on there. Uh, master node videos as well I'll show you guys how to set up master nodes from scratch and everything that you need so yeah cheers guys thank you for watching and uh, good luck with your z9 mini and any of your other uh, mining good luck guys